Let's insert a counter into our message. So I have a message programmed here and I want to insert a counter after the lock code. So I'm going to select the counter icon and you'll see I get a drop down menu here, counter ID, to select one of four counters. Select the first one for now. And I don't think that I need six digits, but if I did, I could change that here. I could have seven or, and keep on going. I'm going to take this down to three and then I'm going to position this next to my lot number. Great. Let's move that over just a little bit using these X and Y um, coordinates uh, to do so. And you can position that nicely like that. Great. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. I've edited my message. Let's go ahead and hit to print. So now you can see we have our message here, and this is where we set our counter. <coughs> so the icon at the top of the screen here looks like a calculator. Just go ahead and select that. You'll see we have our counter options here. So down here at the bottom, you have a full system counter that will show you everything you've printed today or until you reset it. Um, and then here is where we can select those counters that I mentioned earlier. Now, since the message only has one counter in it, it's only giving us the one option. So you can select your start value here, which would be box zero or one, depending on how you want to go. The step value will allow you to increase that count by more than one at a time if you'd like. So if you wanted to count up in twos or threes, you could do so. We'll go ahead and leave that at one. Our current value is zero. And then this is our end value. Um, you can, depending if you know how many boxes you want to print, you can set that, or you can just leave that open-ended as you see here. Um, to do a repeat print, you can set a counter to print the same number twice or three times or however many times you want. So you can use these options here. Um, repeat value will be the number of times that you um, want to print it. Anyway, um, that's basically how you set your counter. So you can go ahead and press OK, and now you're ready to print it. And this number will go up on its own every print trigger. Thank you.